Good day to you all out there. And as you can see, we are now playing Prison Architect just with the Fallout mod, Fallout Vault mod. So instead of making a prison, we're going to make a vault. So right away, let's pause time. So, I know, recently I haven't been uploading too many videos, just like once every two days. But I've just had a bit, I've just had a bit to do. But now school's out, so school's out for summer. Booyah. Um, I did not just say that on camera. Why did I just say that? Um, if you're wondering why I'm putting in weird, such a weird design, it's because it's supposed to be the cave before I actually get into the vault. Um, but... So yeah, I'll be uploading a lot. I'm, I'm trying to set a goal on what I'm going to do this summer for. For my YouTube. Uh, for my YouTube channel. Trying to, I'm gonna try and make just so many uh, subs, views, and I did realize I recently hit 500 views, so thank you for watching my videos f over 500 times. So thanks for people who watch my videos, because now f I know people who watch my videos over 500 times. So yeah, thanks for that, guys. Um... I do realize I've been going up to 22 subs and then going back down to 21. Um, probably because I don't constantly upload every day, but that's a little hard actually. Like if I have to do a lot of editing on the episodes, like if I do more top 10 or top 5s, then I'll have to do a lot of editing because I had to actually find all those, put them all together, and then I had to redo them because it deleted them for some reason. Uh, look. What's this? This is a part of the mod. A secure door? Large secure door. Oh, no, never mind. No, because there's a jail door. Oh, I guess that's for solitary. Never mind. I'm just not thinking right. Vault door. Don't know why it's suddenly just completely black. No offense to any anything... And no, don't take it that way, Master Alliance. No, I'm saying that because it seems like it lost its texture. Because it used to be, um... Uh, it used to be... God, I can't say it now. Oh, great. That's great. It used to be... Oh, actually, let's just delete that and go like this. Um... How do I say that? What, what am I trying to say? Oh, it used to have an actual texture, but now it's not, and I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Uh, it used to have a nice texture, too, and it said 88 on it, because it, for some reason, automatically puts you as Vault 88. I think they should add it, if they could, great, when you make the prison, it should say what Vault number. Yeah, look, now it's completely just no texture. Where the heck's your texture? God damn it. Alright, but let's wrap around this with some with a like that i'm trying a very different design than what i usually do um one, uh, one two three four five uh one two three four five there you go oh you know what i did forget to get um, I do have Fog of War on, I have Gangs on, I have, um, what else do I have on? Uh, I just have the over, the Warden, the original one, because that's the only one that is done to, done to the texture of the game. Of, yeah, you know. So let's close the prison right now, because we're definitely not, sorry, close the vault. Um, basic vault. And then we're gonna need uh, health and well-being, administration center. Every vault needs administration staff to ensure th things are running smoothly. This country, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get that. So there's two. Right away there are two. So we're making $840 right now. But we have 46,000. 
Okay, sorry if you just heard someone just, like, if you heard for a second someone come in or something. My dad just came in and gave me a pop. Um, but, oh, I also have a mod on that will make it so this. Well, is that big. I, I love that mod because it makes it so they're way more efficient. But, yeah. So, why don't we just grab a metal, no. I need, like, a fence. Fence. So we need, oh, not that long. Uh, then let's go down to here. Oh no, actually. Down to there, and then block it off like that. And there's one more thing I would like to show you, mostly for um, Rapid Fire or Neilmar. Well, not Neilmar, the, the old partner of Rapid Fire. I'm not sure if he said his name, so I'm kind of afraid to. Just for uh, sea bass. Um, if you go into pause, extras. Oh, okay, it's not. Okay, give me a second just to take off the texture pack and I'll try it. All right, I found it. This is a little Easter egg in the game. So if you go into extras and go to this at the very bottom of the page, click it, crash. There you go. Literally. They made a 3D version of the game. For some reason, walls are higher in rooms, even though that was brick wall. Or maybe concrete. I don't know. Uh, and then that was supposed to be fence. But, yeah. So you are a actually able to go into a 3D version of Prison Architect. And still able to build. I thought that was insanely cool. Of course, the garbage isn't 3D, but all, um, pipes aren't 3D, pipe crates. These are, which I thought this was really cool. I saw this in another video. Um, um, so yeah, it did get rid of my vault door because I had to take off the texture pack and the texture pack added the vault door into it. So just let me get back into, um, let me just get back into the game of, of the Fallout 1. Oh, are the, oh uh, yeah, and the bricks are also 3D. That's really cool. God. It's cool how in a 2D game they made a 3D Easter egg. Uh, anyway. So let's get back into uh, follow. So, the texture for the door is back. That's just the side of the door. If I show you the front, it looks like that. But then if I flip it over, it looks like that. So it's really thin on this side, yeah, really thick like that. Uh, because that's what a full door looks like. So let's pause this. That's like wood fence to protect a, to keep uh, my, uh, my, uh, what are they called? God. I don't know. I can't think of what they're called. I'm not sure if I open up my pop on camera or off camera, so if you guys heard it, that's just me opening up my pop. Um. So. God, where is it? There it is. See, it barely even fits, and this is a giant room. And when I say it's a giant room, I really mean it is a giant room. You know, I really wish I was able to make, like, a Volt Boy statue. I'd put right there, right there. I've got a follow hat, actually. I'm not sure if I'll show a photo of it in the video, because I could. But, you know... I, I might, I might not. It'll get me better at editing. Because I'm really not that good. I'm not that bad, but I'm not that good. Considering I only do have the YouTube editor. I am going to be getting a better editor. So yeah. Drink machines are Nuka-Cola. Um. <laughs> a Merc station. Seriously, they changed the sniping... They changed the sniping tower 
to a Merc station. Um, I also have a Star Wars one, which I might make this series. I'm going to just continue on with this series and not make another until I'm done this series, and then I'll probably make more series. I might even make another Prison Architect series of my Star Wars texture pack, which makes it so you can put stuff on. T so if you turn it, you can put different things on the TV. Or the Hall of TV. But that's really cool. And this, it's just the old, like, 1970s TV. Um, but let's grab a door. A uh, staff-only door. Alright, then we're going to need to go back and do utility capacitors. Capacitors are very expensive, so you don't want to buy too many. And then we're going to have to go back into this, grab wires. String some wires through all of this. Uh, then we're going to need to break off and make a nice, um, hallway that will have a normal, uh, actually a secure door. So you don't want any prisoners running through here now, do we? That vault door is a really secure door, though. Door, though. Uh, road gate. Build a road gate. Just to make sure. Build road gates. Um, we have thirty thousand dollars left. So we gotta make sure we don't run out of money. We also need to do all these. Hmm. If you did realize that my screen got smaller is because I had to turn on the resolution to stop it from lagging as much. It usually doesn't lag, but that was weird. Um, there we go. So now let's build ourselves a little hallway that will go off to a cell block of either dormitories or mm -hmm. I'll just get a uh, living area, which is a dormitory. Room. Oh, room is for a single person. But we, we, we don't want vault people only living as singles. We want them to be doubles, even though this is only for males. And you can make a girl, you can make a female prison. I didn't do that for, well, I don't know. Um, I have only played a female person like twice. So now let's get a large cell door, put it right there, or a large secure door in this case. And then why don't we make a line of dormitories here. And then this side will be the needs. Okay, that that's a cave. Frick. All right, give me a second. All right, so I fixed up the walls. Uh, now they're just building wires through this to power everything. So let's go see what the heck our capacity is at. Really low. Hmm. If you never played this game before, never seen it, how this thing is so much bigger is because usually it's of four squares, not how many squares this is. Like one, two, three, four. That would all be uh, five. That'd all be one side. No, six. That'd all be one side of the original ones. So this thing's like two blocks bigger. Really helpful. The main menu button looks like a vault lower. I love that. Never seen that. And the currency are bottle caps. Not bucks, as they're on the original game. Um, but let's build ourselves some dormitories. So let's pick vault. So we'll just have it like this. Get them a nice shaped one. No, 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 this, this will just be your normal 
generic. You know, no, I'm just gonna erase all that. Go for a dormitory size of what do they actually need to be? At least the two by three. At least the two by three. Okay. So that's actually how big they have to be. Let's give them a little bigger of a living quarters. Then we'll give these guys a nice one that's like bent off like that. No. Yeah, no. Let's just give them their normal ones. So that's five by four? No, five by five. So, f and it does go in meters. Uh, so that's a five by five. Get you working. Um, and then we'll have to go like this. Or actually that, and that gives us three, three. Yeah. Should work. Should. Emphasis on should. Frick, it does not work. <laughs> Doesn't work the way I hoped it would. Alright, let's get them a secure door. Secure door to count as the entire room's door. And then we're going to have to break them off the wall. So this will only be able to fit like three, three people in each room. Don't give me three though, give me... No! <laughs> Damn it. That one's spot on. This one is one off. All right. All right, it done, Chuck. Of course. And then we'll just get squeezing a room right here. And squeeze in a room right there. So there you go. Um, you won't see any of this on the, well, you will see these three, but you won't see these three, which is add an hour and then go a bit faster than, actually, yeah, it only needs those two. Go a bit faster than that because I have a mod that does that for me. There you go. So he's stuck in there. Uh, let's get a, oh, a secure door. Secure door. Secure door. You can get to that construction job, goddammit. Uh, and then we're going to need a, another secure door right here. So, yeah. So, that's Prison Architect for you. So, there's episode one. And, hope you guys like it. Goodbye. See you next time. Good night.